Hello and welcome to Mule Marketo Connector Tutorial. In this video we are going to show you how to configure and use Marketo Connector in the Mule Studio. First, we need to install Mule Marketo Connector from Update site. In the Mule Studio menu, select Help, Install new software, select Mule Studio Cloud Connectors Update site in the Work with drop-down. Find Marketo Connector Mule Studio extension by typing a word Marketo in the filter string and check Marketo Connector. We will also need Mule S3 Connector. Find Mule S3 Connector Mule Studio extension by typing symbol S3 in the filter string. Check the S3 Connector, reset filter and click Next. Follow installation steps, accept license agreement and click Finish. Wait for the installation to complete. And restart Mule Studio. After that, we need to create demo project. In the Mule Studio menu, select File, New, Mule Project Menu Item, type Marketo, Marketo underscore demo as a project name and click Next. Accept default values on the next screen of Project Creation Wizard and click Next and then Finish. Now we need to configure Marketo connection parameters. Log in to your Marketo account. Go to Administration section by clicking the admin link. Select SOAP API from the Integration subfolder. Note three parameters SOAP endpoint, user ID, and encryption key. Put values for all three parameters to the Mule App Properties file. Endpoint User ID User Key We use configuration properties in Marketo configuration. Double click on Marketo demo.xml to open it. Select Global Elements tab in the view. Click on the Create button and add Marketo Cloud Connector to the configuration. Properties of the new global element will be automatically opened. Populate General tab with references to configuration parameters such as User ID, User Key, and Endpoint. The Test Connection button and ensure that connection is successful. Wait for the test to be completed successfully. Uncheck checkbox Enable DataSense as it can cause an error while saving configuration in the current connector version. Click OK to apply changes. Now we can build the flow. Create the first flow for loading list of available M objects. Switch to the Message Flow tab in the Flow Editor. Add a new flow by dragging it from the palette. Double click the new flow to open its properties and rename it to List M Objects. Click OK. Drag HTTP endpoint to the flow. Set Pass parameter to the list of M objects in the endpoint properties. 
Similarly, add Marketo Cloud Connector to the flow. Double click it to show properties. Select Marketo from Config Reference and List M Objects from Operation dropdown list. To display properties of a fetched object in the JSON format, also add object to JSON transformer to the flow. Save the flow. Now we are ready to run demo project. Right-click on Marketo demo.xml, select Run as, select Mule application. Check the console to see when the application starts. You should see the following message on the console. Started app Marketo underscore demo. To test list M objects flow, please do the following steps. Open the browser and go to HTTP localhost port 8081 list M objects. You should see the following response in your browser. Note names of available M objects. We will build a flow that loads description for one of them in the next step. Switch back to the Mule Studio and stop Mule server by clicking the Terminate icon in the console. After that, create the second flow to describe M objects. Add a new flow by dragging it from the palette and name it Describe M objects. Add HTTP endpoint to the new flow and set its path to describe. Add Marketo connector to the flow and configure its properties. Config reference and select Describe M objects from Operation drop down list. Type opportunity into the object name field. Note that the object name field contains a name of one of the M objects received in the previous example. Finally, add object to JSON transformer to the flow. To test describe M objects flow, save the flow, run demo project and open URL. HTTP localhost port 8081 describe. You should receive M object description in the JSON format like this. Stop Mule server. Then we create the flow to load campaigns. Add a new flow by dragging it from the palette and name it get campaigns add an http endpoint to the new flow and set its path to campaigns add marketo connector to the flow and configure its properties select marketo from config reference list Select Get Campaigns for source from Operation List and type Sales in the source field. Finally, add object to JSON Transformer to the flow. Now we can test Get Campaigns flow. Run demo project and open URL. HTTP localhost port 8081 campaigns. You should receive a list of sales campaigns in the JSON format like this. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.